Okay, so sorry about that interruption. Uh, we uh, continue on with our discussion of uh, separability of a discrete metric space. So I've just shown you um, how to visualize uh, the discrete metric space when we're talking about two, three, or four uh, element discrete metric spaces. Uh, if you're talking about uh, metric space, uh, discrete metric spaces with more than four elements, it becomes uh, slightly more difficult to visualize. Okay, uh, so. Um, what we now want to talk about is separability of a discrete metric space. So firstly, uh, we know that if a, a, a discrete metric space is countable, in fact, if any metric space is countable, uh, so i.e. Uh, the number of elements in the set X, so if we have our set X here, uh, the number of elements in there is either uh, finite or it's countably infinite. Uh, so that's what countable means. So it's either finite or um, countably infinite then you instantly get the fact that uh, the metric space is, um, is separable. So these two things will imply separability, separable. Uh, the reason being that you can take uh, your set S to be the whole set. So if you let your set S be the entire set X, uh, then that's a countable subset of um, your metric space. And uh, indeed, every, every point of your metric space X is indeed a limit point uh, for this set, because if you take any point in the um, in the metric space big X, so let's say it's a little x, it will also be within S. So if you draw a ball of size epsilon around any point x, uh, any point little x in the metric space, it will always contain a point of the set S, because it will contain that center point x, which is an element of S. Uh, so uh, it's true that uh, if it's countable, uh, you, uh, your discrete metric space will be um, separable. So uh, countable discrete metric spaces are separable. Countable discrete metric spaces. Discrete metric spaces are separable. Okay, so let's then look at the uncountable case. So are separable. Okay, so uncountable case now. Uh, so that's the case where uh, the number of elements in the set underlying the metric space, the big set, big X, um, is uncountable now. So an example would be uh, all the, um, uh, well, the real numbers, for example, uh, is an uncountable set. Um, okay, uh, so uh, now the problem is uh, that we cannot use, uh, we cannot choose our set big S as being the whole space. So our set big S must be a proper subset of X. So the set big S, so the big set big S must be a proper subset of the set X. Now the problem with that is if it's a proper subset, then there exists an element little x which is in uh, which is in it in big X. So little x is an element of big X which is not but n is not in S. So it's an element of um, the complement of S within X. Okay, uh, so it's outside of S in our picture here. Okay, so I can find such an element if S is a proper subset of X, which it must be, uh, because the whole space is uncountable. And if you take S to be the whole space, uh, then obviously it's not going to satisfy the first property that we need for that set to uh, satisfy um, these conditions uh, for the separability criteria. Okay, uh, so uh, we have this point outside of there. Now, basically, uh, take a ball of size a half round that point ball of size a half. Now because it's a discrete metric space, uh, we just need to recall the definition of this. This means uh, all points y, which are an element of big X, such that the distance between X and Y is less than a half. Okay, so I can draw this open ball around this point here. But the problem is this is a discrete metric space. So uh, the only two possibilities for the distance are it's either 0 or 1. So distance between x and y is equal to, remember, 0 if x is equal to y, and distance between x and y is equal to 1 if x is not equal to y. So all of these points, if y is not equal to x, then the distance between x and y will be 1, and therefore y will not be an element of this ball. So the only point that will actually be an element of this ball is the only point with a distance 0, and that's the point itself. So this ball will actually consist of a single element, which is um, the point x. And therefore, we said x was not in s, uh, that by assumption uh, we could find such an x, and uh, therefore there cannot be an element of s. So uh, there is not there is not 
an element of s in this ball, element of um, s in this ball, open ball, around the point x uh, of radius a half, uh, which proves uh, that there can be uh, no countable subset of this metric space uh, which is dense within this metric space because I found you here a point which is not a limit point for that uh, set S uh, providing it's it, providing S is not countable basically and you can always construct uh, such a point and a, and a open ball uh, so that implies uh, X is not separable so basically um, so basically uh, discrete metric spaces are uh, separable if and only if uh, they are uh, countable. If they're not countable, then they are not separable.